Dave Da, how per welcome we in with that, the Code of Crown. Hello and welcome again to Code of Crown. Brass a matter I can tell them here, you're in a posian's now with GCSE. The main topic of today's program is the new GCSE examination in Cornish. Hagafita Visianzo Errol, Hataklo Errol in Dolan. And there will be notices and some other subjects coming up in the program. But first, the GCSE. The Cornish Language Board, Kezan Tavas Kornuik, has been conducting examinations, a posianzo, for several years now, at every level from beginners right up to language barred grade. Well, next summer, of course, sees the introduction of the new GCSE examination, the General Certificate of Secondary Education in all Britain's secondary schools. It replaces the old GCE and CSE exams. Now, there's been a CSE examination in Cornish for a few years now, and there have been several successful candidates. But now that the GCSE in Cornish is going to be available, thanks largely to the work of Weller Brown, Graham Sandercock, and Anne Jenkin, who have prepared most of the examination material, there is now going to be a public examination in Cornish, which will be valued and recognised by employers, colleges and universities and so on, and which can also be taken by adults as well as by school children. A GCSE pass at grades A, B and C will be equivalent to the old O level. Well, Hemia Vonsian's Mira the Lees at Kunwe Gorion. Hamia Wivinus Orth and Jenkin, Ordinores in Aposians in Vlesna, the organiser of the 1988 exam, Pithu at Chezon and Aposians Noisma. The purpose of the new exam is to fill a gap in with the other GCSE exams. Um, and to have Cornish available for all Cornish school children uh, in any secondary school in Cornwall. Third uh, year on CSE and in Jaja, Ken? Um, that there was CSE exam for many years, but this didn't cover the full ability range, and the new exam will. Have you put flow and put skull come as an opposition as well? There will be uh, uh, it, there will be an opportunity for any children in any secondary school to do Cornish. It will be based on one Cornish secondary school, a Mode Three exam, but it will be possible for children in other schools to do it. How pith you matter in a posians? Pith is in all. Um, there are uh, going to be four sections, as there are in English or French or other languages. There'll be reading, writing, um, talking, and listening sections in the exam. I go with an opposition's mother lays the doers of in re ober the studium. Um, I don't suppose it'll be uh, of immediate practical use to employers, but it will show that the pupils are aware of Cornish. It will also be valuable for those who are studying languages because it'll give them another strand of interest when they go away to study different languages, particularly in universities in, in Wales. I go with the opposition's GCSE. Are I reckon to her some award bars and, and, and a posianzo. Well, yes, of course, it will add to the number of examinations that um, pupils are taking in Cornish schools. It will be an extra exam because at the moment most pupils are doing it in their own time as an extra bonus and this is quite valuable for them. If they've got nine subjects rather than eight or seven rather than six, then this will help them with employment generally. Hagaran Niveran Studiorian and Akameras and Aposians do suppose Brasa in terms of um, I, I don't think the numbers are increasing too much, um, but at the moment there are at least two schools starting with GCSE, and we hope that all schools in future will be able to uh, take it. They need teachers, they need more teachers. Haga Gasis G. Gwellis Kernuic Discus in Jaith Skull. Yes, I would like to see it as part of the timetable. As, uh, as someone who's been teaching in school for a long time in my time, this is very, very difficult, um, both for the teacher but also for the pupils because they haven't enough time for homework and so on. If it was on the timetable, there'd be a regular time for homework, which would help them. Hapanda Ray de Lavelle, Erbin and Lavar, Ninja the Lees with, Frankek, Paul, Almanic, you the Lees, Rack, well, uh, French and German are useful. Any language is useful to someone uh, someone studying languages. It gives you a new idea, a new perspective. But how much more important it is for us to study our own language 
It gives us a sense of identity, a sense of belonging, a sense of knowing what our place names and our surnames mean. And it's part of our heritage. And I think it's extremely important uh, for any employers who, who are thoughtful about it that people know something about the area in which they live. It does also support studies in history and geography and environmental studies in schools where a lot of local history is already studied anyway. Uh, in 1988, uh, and if there are any uh, other school pupils who are round about GCSE in age or any parents or teachers who are interested in learning Cornish and doing the exam, um, perhaps they could write to me at Camborne School. Hi, and your mistress, Jenkin, Mrs. Jenkin, Mrs. A. Jenkin. Uh, yes, um, uh, to uh, Mrs. Jenkin, uh, care of Camborne School, Cranberry Road, Camborne. Okay, Maraz. Maraz. Duganis, Lemon. Duganis. In with Arta and Kinja, Posians and GCSE are with Sintus in half a the. And a Posians my year garis, the Devizogion, Ninja Maranas for like Flea Skoll. Tis a studio rag and Nessagrath, I'll say in GCSE, Heb Miragaletta me Greece. Tis a Garsagil in dinner, a Dalvia Screefer for Anne Jenkin. OK, that's enough about examinations. Let's look instead at what's happening today and over the next couple of weeks. The conference on Cornwall, Keskesilian's Kernu, has been running all this weekend at the Ponsmere Hotel, Perrenporth. And uh, it's still running at this moment, in fact. This afternoon, at two o'clock, the conference is discussing all aspects of the Cornish language, revival and movement. And there are several invited speakers, so that will obviously be of interest to Cornish speakers. Halemin, Kuntilezo Yethan Werin, the Yethan Werin meetings. If you remember from a previous programme, Julia Allard explained to us that the Yethan Werin movement means groups of people who simply meet in public places, like public houses and so on, to meet and chat in Cornish. And you're welcome to go along to them, whether you're a Cornish speaker or not. You may be just curious to hear what they sound like. The next meeting of the Yethan Wearing Group is on the 18th of November. That's in the Povenje Gwer, Porth Perrin, the Green Parrot, Porth Perrin. Pawodje Henne, and Nounjigvis, the 19th of November, in with Arta, in Liskeris. And I believe the Yethan Wearing there takes place in a pub which I always refer to as Tavern and Carol, or the Stag, I suppose it must be called in English. Hawajahena in with Arta and Pimpers Warnigans, the 25th of November. On the same evening, there will be one Yethan Warren in Loswithiel, east of Cornwall. I don't know the name of which pub that will be in, but it will be in Loswithiel somewhere. And on the same night, the 25th of November, Yethan Warren Sintus in Arwethiel Sinoban, present present people in the uh, St. Aubin Arms in Praise and Beeble. That's the closest to me, and I shall certainly be there for that one. Then, shortly coming up, is the annual meeting of Coethus and Yeth Carnuic, the Cornish Language Fellowship. This actually meets on the 12th of December, and I'll have more to say about the Coethus and Yeth Carnuic and what it actually means and what it does in a future programme. But those of you who are at all interested in the Cornish language movement might like to make a preliminary note of that date. That's the 12th of December, and Daudigvis Mis Kavardi. Now, the music you've been listening to in the background is by Bucker. This particular track is called The Tenor's Fancy. Well, it's Bucker who, in fact, provides the theme tune for Crow to Crow, so I thought this week I'd play out by playing you the whole of the tune which I, we use as a signature tune for Crow to Crow. It's called Maggie May's Hornpipe. A thaw. Mia Leverdu, Ganza Nilona, Dugana Hui. God be with you. Goodbye until next week. <laughs>